Move IQ's Area Guide to Hackney, East London, the borough of Cool. Located just five miles northeast of Charing Cross, it's made up of three districts, Shoreditch, Stoke Newington, and Hackney. Very popular with the 20 and 30 something, but also with families, as you have everything you need right on your doorstep. Professional city workers love to live here because it's easy reach within work. Hackney is one of the third most densely populated boroughs in the whole of the UK, but it's also one of the greenest, boasting 54 parks, 300 hectares of green spaces, and 25 of those have got a green flag quality mark. Famous people heralding from Hackney include Luther-famed Mr. Idris Elba, singer-songwriter Paloma Faith, and, uh, well, there's me. You can have any type of weekend in Hackney, from its thriving market scene taking you to Columbia Road Flower Market or the Sunday Farmers Market at Victoria Park. Hackney has it all when it comes to markets, lifestyle and really good coffee. Head on over to Broadway Market to buy a Vietnamese iced coffee, a tweed coat or a roast beef fat. Is that right? It has many incredible green spaces from Hackney Marshes, Hagston Park to London Fields. Actually, London Fields Lido is a very popular icon, attracting families and hipsters alike for a dip all year round in their 50 metre pool. And if you head on over to Hackney City Farm, based in Hagston Park, you'll see donkeys, goats, pigs, sheep, gaggles of geese and even small humans. Are we rolling? Hackney boasts some of the finest museums in London, with the V&A Museum of Childhood, the Jeffrey Museum, and also Sutton House. We need some rays, guys, yeah? Namaste. There is a massive independent wellness scene here in Hackney, boasting boutique yoga studios and gyms that people travel far and wide to come to. And there's also a thriving homegrown artisan business scene. A perfect example of this is Violet the Cake Makers, who started out on Broadway Market and now has a shop on Wilton Way, and last year was commissioned to make the royal wedding cake for Meghan and Harry. Once upon a time, Hackney was a place where struggling artists live. In fact, Hackney Wick had more artists living in it per square mile than anywhere else in the country. Original East Enders and arty types are now joined by city workers who have moved to the area for the great transport links and cool vibes. Apparently, Hackney is the most in-demand borough. Property prices have increased more than any other local authority in the country. So expect rising house prices and rental costs, but keep a lookout for new homes being built over the coming decade. So what about getting around from here? Well, thanks in part to the 2012 Olympics, Hackney is amazingly well connected to central London. On the tube, you've got the central line from Bethnal Green, which takes you into the West End in about 20 minutes, plus Manor House on the Piccadilly line and Old Street on the Northern line. Then there are several overground stations, including the Hackney Downs train, direct to Liverpool Street. And there's great bus routes too, running to Paddington and the West End. Who needs to commute to work when Hackney is awash with tech companies and startups? Silicon Roundabout is Hackney's answer to Silicon Valley, but with a few less palm trees and a lot less sunshine. But there are a multitude of web businesses here, and since it's so easy to get into the city, it's no wonder this borough is super popular with the techies and the bankers. This is where Google has opened up Campus London to give entrepreneurs a space to work and connect. And also where you'll find the very funky container bill, where creative types and independents can work in 
well, shipping containers stuck three stories high. And it's next to Regent's Canal. I mean, only in Hackney. So here I am on a residential street in Hackney, but just around the corner is Hackney Walk, an outlet village giving you Nike, Burberry, Akko Scutum. Depending on your budget or shopping requirements, Hackney really does have it all. From independent retailers to boutique fashion brands to sustainable stores, you'll find many a shopping option around these parts. If you're looking to be a little bit thrifty, head down to Ridley Road and some of the brilliant convenience stores down there. Or get yourself down to the Dalston Boot Fair, Saturdays and Sundays, but they don't take contactless, so make sure you've got your cash. Hackney has a thriving vegan and vegetarian scene, so if you love a bit of smashed avocado, you will not go hungry in these parts. There's also plenty to eat if you love a bit of meat. In terms of breakfast or brunch, there are many options in Hackney. You could head over to E5 Bakery for a fluffy, delicious bit of sourdough. Or if you like your poached eggs with a pianist in the background, head on over to Bistro Tech for some Sunday fun. To lunch, you could dine out for every day over 10 years and never be bored. But some of your best experiences will be found in the independently owned pubs, restaurants and cafes. There is an international array of options. You could go for lunch at the pavilion for Sri Lankan hoppers in the centre of Victoria Park. Or you could just head to one of the pubs, the Marksman or the Gun. And for dinner, there are so many choices. Tad's on Mare Street that does gorgeous Turkish grilled meats, or even to F cook for a bit of the old pie mash. God, I'm a bit hungry, when are we having lunch? Anyone? It's good news on the school's front too, with primary, secondary and sixth form colleges in the borough rated outstanding and good by Ofsted. And a wide choice of schools between academies, independence and state. I'm delighted to be joined by Nick, owner of Blake Stanley Estate Agents here in Hackney. How long have you been in Hackney? Right, so the company, we've been open for 16, 17 years now, and I've been in Patch for about 19, 20. And so, what drew you to this area initially? Uh, like a lot of my clients, affordability. So I would start a company of my own, and with my business loan, I could, like this shop had been empty 11 years. So it wow. was an affordable place that had a park at one end and a canal at the other, um, and you can walk into Liverpool Street in 20 minutes. So I always thought it would change, that's a walk cycle. So I always thought it's changed, but it's changed beyond what I thought. What I like is that it's, it has people like I've met around the world as I was growing up. So you get international, proper local. Um, yeah, it's all, a all sorts, whole but, community yeah. uh, um, based on diversity. So here we are at the end of our whistle stop tour of Hackney. If you live here and you think we might have missed something, please leave a comment below. And while you're there, subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.